metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. One thing that unites us all. Something we all hate a lot. The scourge of a healthy diet. I prefer to call it taste bud torture. We have all tried peaceful resistance, pretending to eat our veggies, then chucking them out an airlock. But they're on to all our tricks. We have to send a message that our bellies are not theirs to control. It isn't fair at all. We should decide for ourselves what goes in our mouths. Shh, shh. Hmm? But if we work together, we can defeat the horrors of our enemy nutrition. We can replace that dumb stuff with the yum stuff. Hmm? All right, then. First thing, everyone needs to name the food that they think is the grossest. Then we will secretly eat each other's most hated food. And nobody will even realize what's going on. Hmm. Hmm. And I'll start. I can't stand drinking milk. I've always thought carrots were an awful joke by Mother Nature. Carrots? Well, I've got you covered. Wally? Lemons, man. And you'll never have to eat one again. Right, Chico? Did life literally just hand me lemons? Congratulations! Really? Why me? Look at the draw! I'll hey, take milk lemonade. and you take You're lemons. taking one for the it's team. It's not fair for you Don't to think of them as lemons. Call them friendship fruit. While I'm stuck fruit. on the express train to Sourdown. What are you three up to, sitting in the dark like that? <laughs> it's not good for your eyes. <gasps> You're looking through the menu? Are you silly boys hungry? <laughs> well, I can fix that. Food, 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 food. <laughs> like the skeleton chef says, bon appetit. <laughs> Cow juice. Full of valuable vitamins and love. Vitamins, huh? What's so valuable about them, then? I am so glad you asked. A lot of people say you can eat all you want and your body will choose by itself what it needs. Well, that's a great big pile of nonsense. You can't just load up on ice cream and sweets. Speak for yourself, sister. Because <laughs> I can. Well, sure, you could eat only sweets if you were hungry. <laughs> But proper, healthy nutrition is more than just filling up on whatever you want. We must never forget about vitamins. Vitamins are so essential to a healthy life that the word reflects this concept. Vita is the Latin word for life. The truth is, these essential compounds don't naturally occur in every meal. One simple way to determine if a meal is rich in vitamins is to consider if it would have appeared on the table of our ancestors. Things like fresh fruit, Vegetables and berries are naturally occurring foods. Doesn't that look delicious? And they are the healthiest for us. Yum, yum. Am I right? Mm. Oh, look, someone's eating something that tastes good. Not, Not on, on your, your watch. watch. I see nothing. Must be a false alarm. <laughs> Ha! 
I must admit, your plan works just perfectly. Life without lemons is paradise. You should be thanking Chico. Hey, Chico, come get thanked. Uh, I've got a small confession to make to you guys. You've been cheating at cheating this whole time? It isn't my fault. I hate lemons almost as much as I hate carrots. Having to eat all of Wally's lemons was impossible. Oh. 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 Uh. Nutritional imbalance detected. Must correct. Oh. Uh. Cookpot! We're so busted. What exactly is the plan here? Find someplace safe where Chico can choke down all your nasty lemons. Uh uh, I'll never be able to pull it off ever. Quiet. Oh. Run! <laughs> yum, yum, here I come. I don't feel very well. Come, hurry up! <laughs> Chico, turn! There are stairs ahead! <laughs> huh? <laughs> yum, yum! <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Well, <laughs> come on, confess. Well, whose idea was it? Hmm. What's the problem? You wanted us to eat healthy, and we did. We all got vitamins. Isn't that what you wanted to begin with? Different vitamins are in different foods, and your body needs all vitamins. Let's begin with Wally. He stopped eating lemons. Lemons are rich in vitamin C. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient involved in the repair of tissue and the making of certain neurotransmitters. It is found in almost all plant-based foods. When the body experiences a deficit of vitamin C, the skin and vascular walls become thin and fragile. Ancient sailors experienced a lack of vitamin C because they were on ocean voyages for many months without eating any vegetables or fruits. This caused their teeth to fall out, extreme bruising on their bodies, and it would take an unusually long time for even the smallest wounds to heal. In the 15th century, this illness was given the name scurvy. The cure for this illness wasn't discovered until the 18th century. The cure was simple, lemon juice. Um, honestly, I haven't been feeling all that dandy of late. I don't know. I feel fine without vitamins. Oh, really? Haven't you forgotten something? So I stumbled. <gasps> Could that have to do with this vitamin stuff? Great big duh. You stop drinking milk, and milk is a source of vitamin D. Vitamin D is naturally produced in the body when it is exposed to sunlight. If there isn't enough sun, vitamin D may be replenished by eating and drinking foods rich in it. Without vitamin D, our bones cannot absorb calcium and become fragile and curved. The disease associated with these symptoms is called rickets. That's why a certain bunny has been so wobbly. Is there anything wrong with me? Chico, you stopped eating carrots, which are rich in vitamin A. Vitamin A is essential for eye function. You need vitamin A for your retina to work properly. Orange and yellow fruits contain the most vitamin A. Those colors help you know how to get this essential vitamin. You've just made it worse for yourselves with all this foolishness. Oh, guess taste bud torture will once again be the law of the land in Tummyville. Not a chance! I haven't begun to fight! I will never give in to... Ow, 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 ow. If you didn't like the taste of milk and lemons, you should have just said... Yum, yum, mm -hmm. open up, mm -hmm. here the vitamins, mm -hmm. come, come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It isn't easy to negotiate with a vitamin terminator. Mm -hmm. Now open wide, mm -hmm. let's get those vitamins mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. You have dropped your lemon, I shall retrieve it. You know, it might have been wrong to put a walking alarm clock in charge of all our nutrition. 
but I have some wonderful news. <laughs> See, scientists have figured out making vitamins using, I don't know, chemistry and whatnot. And now you can get all of your vitamins in little pills. Hey, instead of milk, can I take this? Dude, I could swallow a hundred of these guys. That would be a bad idea, my boy. Taking too many vitamins can be just as bad as not getting enough. One vitamin pill is all that you need every day. Is that milk? <laughs> I thought you didn't like it. It's strange. When they stopped forcing me to drink the stuff, hating drinking it just wasn't fun anymore. And is that a carrot there? Or are you just happy to see me? Ah! <laughs> it turns out that um, I actually don't dislike them <clears throat> as much as I thought. Vitamins play a vital role in our health, and the discoveries of scientists that brought about a new way to take in these vitamins helped to change the way we take care of our health for the better. The German chemist Adolf Windaus was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1928 for his research in vitamins and in vitamin D particularly. For his research of vitamin A in 1937, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to Swiss chemist Paul Kerrer. In the same year, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to Hungarian chemist Albert Szent Jorgi for his discoveries of the structure of vitamin C. I'll bet that these gentlemen didn't always eat what was best for them when they were kids, any more than Crash, Chico, and Wally. <laughs> <laughs> 